People are always asking me, whether it's my students or in the YouTube comments, about surface area. I don't know why people are so intent on learning the formula for surface area, but that's not a good way to approach this concept. You have to think of surface area like perimeter, okay? Perimeter is better understood as a concept rather than as a formula because the concept of perimeter is you just add up all the outsides of the shape. And no matter what the shape is, whether it's a triangle or a rectangle or something weirder like a hexagon, you can, you can just figure it out in the moment because you understand I need to add up all the sides. Surface area is the same way. No matter what the shape is, you're adding all the outside faces. So if it's something like a box, or in this case, a rectangular prism, then yeah, fine, there is a formula you can memorize, but I don't think it's worth putting in your brain in that way. It's better to just understand what a right rectangular prism looks like, and it looks like a box, right? So it's going to be something like this. There's a picture of it in the reference chart if you need, uh, so there you go. And we can just then think, okay, how many sides does this thing have? Well, the way I drew it, it looks like it has three sides, but remember, it's a 3D shape, right? So there's, there's other sides that kind of are on the, the back in a way, right? So basically the way that this is gonna work is each side is duplicated. So uh, let's focus on the length of 28, width of 15, and height of 16, right? So what do we need to do? We need to find the area of each face. So let's start with what I would call the, um, the top and the bottom, right? So the top and the bottom are going to be, I'm gonna try my best to draw it, right? It's gonna be kind of like this face here and then on the top as well, we have the same thing. So they're 28 by 15. So 28 by 15, we can just put that in a normal calculator here. So 28 by 15 is 420, okay? So there's two of those. Let's worry about that maybe at the end. Like, I, I don't know, do you wanna do it now, right? So you're gonna multiply that by two, that's 840. However you wanna do it, right? There's two, there's the, they're the same, and that's because it's a regular kind of shape. Um, we also have, uh, the left and the right side. So left and right. And here we have kind of the right side is showing very nicely. So that's going to be 16 by 15. So let's figure what that is. Again, regular calculator, 16 times 15 is 240. And again, there's two of them. There's a left and a right. So that's 480. And then let's finish it up here with the um, front and back. So now I'm going to have to kind of like draw over some of the colors I already have. The front is this side right here, right? So the front and the back is going to be, uh, in this case, 28 by 16. So 28 times 16 in the regular calculator is 448. That one I'm a little more nervous multiplying by two, but if I do it, I get 896. Now, what is the surface area? It's just add up all the faces, right? So we found that there, this is already sets of two, and so there's six total faces, so here's three things, let's just add them all up. And 840 plus 480 plus 896 is 2216. Is that the answer? Yes. That's it. So the reason I say don't bother memorizing the formula for the, uh, the surface area of a prism of a box uh, is first of all, again, it, it, there's only so many things you could hold in this brain. And having worked with students as long as I have, I know that I could tell them 100 formulas, they're not gonna remember all 100. It's not going to happen. Something's gonna get forgotten. So the fewer formulas you give, the less the chance that there is something forgotten. So if you make room for that formula for this, then I don't know, I'm worried that something else is gonna pop out. Plus, it's a little clunky, right? I mean, I can kind of derive it right now. I actually don't know it, but the surface area of a what I'd call a box is going to be two times the length times the width, plus two times the width times the height, plus two times the length times the height. Basically, each dimension's gotta go with the other one, and that's basically what I did here. I just didn't worry about length and width and height and everything like that. Now, the problem with this is, this is one of the simplest surface area formulas you will see, and yet it's still kinda confusing, and I worry that you'll think you've remembered it, but you'll mess something up. Maybe you'll only remember two of the three parts. Maybe you'll forget the times two. Maybe you'll do length times width twice instead of length times width and width length times height. I don't know. But the more complicated a formula is, the bigger of a chance that you mess it up. So I, I, I worry that you will think you've memorized it, but then you won't. Plus, the SAT could easily ask about surface areas of other shapes, right? So we had uh, cylinders are kind of complicated. You got two circles and basically a rectangle that's kind of rolled around the cylinder. You could have a pyramid that's a bunch of triangles with, with usually a square base. And you don't want to have to memorize those formulas. If you want, put them in Google. You'll see they're messy. 
and they're not going to be easy to memorize. So you're better off thinking of it as the flat shapes that we're used to. A box is going to just be a bunch of rectangles. A pyramid is some triangles and a square. A cylinder is some circles and a rectangle, right? Think of it as the simpler flat shapes and it'll be easier to figure out in the moment. So I don't know, this is me just kind of ranting because this is a common question that I get is what are the surface area formulas? How do I memorize them? I just don't think it's worth your time. Just understand the concept of surface area. It's all the areas of all the faces added together. And then no matter what the SAT gives you, if you understand the concept, you can just kind of piece it together as you go. It does not really take much effort to do the areas of six rectangles here.